G'day everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Today I'm going to go for something pretty cool actually. So I'm going to go through something that I'm calling threshold triggers inside of Power BI. Now what I mean by this is that sometimes you might want to see particular results if they meet certain thresholds, right? And not only just say one threshold, you might want to evaluate well, what if there's something, if there's some really unique customer that we want to find uh, within all of all of our different customers because they meet multiple different thresholds. So the example that I'm going to run through is I'm going to say, okay, and and as and as I'm going through this, just think about how this might apply because obviously I've just set this example up, but this I I think in you know in reality in lots of different businesses there could be so many ways you could apply these triggers, right? There's always going to be some really unique element of your uh, you know your sales information, your salespeople, or your customers, or your products, or something like that um, that you want to extract. And, and they may have to meet multiple different threshold or or or, or, or threshold triggers, etc., um, to then be grouped into that basket, for example. So what I've done here in this example, I've said, okay, well, I want to look at my customers, and I want to say, well, I want to look at does my customer uh, reach a certain amount of sales? Do they do a cert also do a certain amount of transactions, and do they breach a certain profit margin altogether? And so you can, can you see how you're going to get this really unique bunch or group of people and, and we're working through a lot of logic at the same time. And what's also cool is that I might want to say, and, and you know, the, just as an, as an example, you might, you might want to go and reward your best customers or something like that if they have, if they have reached all of these, these thresholds. But then you want to be able to do it um, live on the fly. And so you can actually do that with this, with this um, calculation that I've created. So I can then click into any quarter and you'll see that all of um, this result here, all of um, these thresholds or uh, these threshold triggers are being, are being met. Through, through the logic that we um, implement and we're getting an updated list of customers and then we could have some sort of automation off the back end um, that does some, some marketing to these customers or we, we give them reward points or, or something like that. Um, and so, you know, really, really powerful insight. I mean, it's, a pretty, it's actually a pretty advanced technique as well. So I'll show you how, how I actually um, did it and how you could apply something similar um, in, your own, uh, in your own models and your own environments. Now, the key thing is, is that um, I, I wanted to, I wanted to um, somehow create this in a dynamic sort of way. Like you could do this, you could probably could do this a couple of ways, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to, if we just look into the model, I wanted to create a supporting table that maybe we might update in the background, right? It could be sitting in Excel or something because your thresholds may change. And so you don't want to um, always just have to jump into Power BI and do all these updates. Maybe you want to just have them sitting in, say, a simple Excel um, table and anyone could go in and change the thresholds and you could see how it could update in your data. So what I did is I, um, yeah, I, did, I did just that basically. And um, what I did was I, I created this one table and I said, okay, well, my target metrics are quarterly sales, quarterly transactions, and quarterly margins, and I put my thresholds. This is where I put all of my thresholds that need to be met for this customer to be uh, grouped inside of um, that master group, you know, because they, they were able to breach all of these thresholds. So what we need to do is we need to create a formula which runs through this table and evaluates for every single customer in that quarter, well, did they actually reach these thresholds? And so what I did was, and, and, and this is where it can become a, quite powerful, right? Because if you look at this table, I mean, we've got lots of customers here. I mean, it's quite hard to just see by looking at that table. Um, is that actually producing the insight that we want? Well, I mean, where are, I mean, where are these people? Where are these customers? You'd have to go through one by one. It just takes forever, right? Well, we can we can set up this one formula which does it for us dynamically, which is which is exactly what what I've done here. And you see how it changes, etc. It's just so much easier. Okay, so this is the formula. I mean, it's a little bit to it, right? But um, I'm going to walk you through it so you can um, you know, have, an, have an understanding of, of, of what I actually did here and, and then how you could apply it. Because, I mean, just think about it, there could be, you could, have, you could have multiple triggers, right? This is just three. I mean, you could have five, you know, that you want to, I just, I actually think back to my banking days and I think, well, okay, well, how do we identify customers at risk? Well, you know, we could create sort of thresholds on, um, you know, how much credit card debt they've got, um, how much debt to equity they've got in their home, you know, the business lending. So all of these different thresholds, right? And then you could then evaluate, okay, well, these are our most at-risk customers, just like that. So that's just a perfect business case for where you can implement this sort of logic. Okay, so what I've done is I've um, had to work out, okay, so 
obviously we had those threshold numbers, right? And that's what these variables are doing. I'm actually trying and going in and I'm extracting that, that particular threshold, that number. So that's all that these are doing. Um, so it may, may, might look like you know slightly long formula, but it's actually doing something. All it's just doing is retrieving a number. So just think that a number sits in behind those uh, formulas. And then what I'm doing here is I'm going I'm going through and saying, well, I actually ultimately I wanted to see okay what are the total sales of these particular people. So that's the ultimate result that I want to showcase in the visual. And then with this other logic, I'm saying okay, well for each customer, go and run through that logic and say, okay, for each customer, is their total sales greater than or equal to the sales threshold? Is their total transactions greater than or equal to the transaction threshold? And profit margins as well. And so if it does go past all of those thresholds, or all of those triggers, then it evaluates to true and then that customer will return total sales. So that's how I do it. That's how the logic works in there. And so you could just have a play around with that um, as I say, and you could see you know, how that could work in your own environment. It's pretty, pretty quickly. So that's what I want to showcase today. Um, as a reminder, you can actually download this resource um, just through Enterprise DNA TV resources. Just requires a, a small investment. But hopefully you can see, you know, there's a, there's a bit of power there, you know, being able to just rock in, find this, um, find this formula, and you, know, you could basically just copy and paste the, the logic in, into your own models, um, you know, if you, if, you, um, if you had this available. So really powerful technique, and I, I just love it. You know, there's just so much application for this. I mean, that banking one I gave you is a perfect example, but I mean, there's just there's just examples like this everywhere. I mean, it's almost kind of like how you can sort of look through your data at patterns. You know, who is your ideal customer? Who are your best customers? Now, if you could, if you can build those sort of insights, those patterns, and then you can say, okay, well, as as someone sort of comes into your sales funnel, you can evaluate pretty quickly, like, are they going to be a good customer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there's all these different things that you could do with those, um, you know, with these threshold triggers, um, you know, this threshold logic uh, in your own model. So it's pretty, pretty darn exciting. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot for listening. In. If you, um, if you like the content, certainly throw us a like on the video, really appreciate it. Uh, and um, certainly, um, certainly subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV, putting out, um, putting out lots of content, lots of events coming up. Uh, look forward to um, speaking to you again soon. All the best. Cheers.